during much of the Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic eras, that is, from 300 million years ago to today, Oklahoma had the good fortune to be high and dry, allowing for the preservation of a wide variety of fossils. The only gap in this pristine record occurred during the Cretaceous period, when much of the state was submerged beneath the western interior sea. The official state dinosaur of Oklahoma, the late Jurassic Saurophaganax was a close relative of the better known Allosaurus, and, in fact, it may have been a species of Allosaurus, which would consign Saurophaganax, greatest lizard eater, to the trash heap of paleontology. True Sooners may not want to hear this, but the Saurophaganax skeleton on display at the Oklahoma Museum of Natural History is padded out with a few Allosaurus bones. One of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of the early Cretaceous period, about 125 million years ago, the type fossil of Acrocanthosaurus was discovered in Oklahoma shortly after the Second World War. This theropod's name, Greek for high-spined lizard, refers to the distinctive neural spines on its back, which may have supported a Spinosaurus-like sail. At 35 feet long and 5 or 6 tons, Acrocanthosaurus was almost the size of the much later T-Rex. Like many sauropod dinosaurs of the Middle Cretaceous period, Sauroposeidon was diagnosed, based on a handful of vertebrae found on the Oklahoma side of the Texas-Oklahoma border in 1994. The difference is, these vertebrae were truly enormous, putting Sauroposeidon in the 100-ton weight class, and possibly making it one of the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived, perhaps even rivaling the South American Argentinosaurus. Often mistaken for a true dinosaur, Dimetrodon was actually a type of prehistoric reptile known as a pelicosaur, and lived well before the classic age of dinosaurs, during the Permian period. No one knows the exact function of Dimetrodon's distinctive sail, it was probably a sexually selected characteristic, and may have helped this reptile absorb, and dissipate heat. Cotylorhynchus adhered to the classic pelicosaur body plan, a huge, bloated trunk, which held the yards and yards of intestines this prehistoric reptile needed to digest tough vegetable matter, a tiny head, and stubby, splayed legs. Three species of Cotylorhynchus, the name is Greek for cup snout, have been discovered in Oklahoma and its southern neighbor, Texas. One of the most reptile-like amphibians of the early Permian period, about 290 million years ago, Cacops, blind face, was a squat, cat-sized creature with stubby legs, a short tail, and a lightly armored back. There's some evidence that Cacops was also equipped with relatively advanced eardrums, a necessary adaptation for life on the dry Oklahoma plains, and that it hunted at night, the better to avoid the larger amphibian predators of its Oklahoma habitat.